All right, guys, now welcome back to the Water NPC. It was just a quick video, and sorry, but it's very late at night, so I have to be silent. I found the absolute best Ethereum mining overclocking setting, especially if you're gonna run it in your daily PC, because this way you can also game on those settings and use those settings to use your PC normally. Okay, what am I running different from most people? I'm running an overclocking curve, which is getting me 60 mega hashes. So the standard setting is just to put minus 400 or minus 500 on the core clock, then overclock the memory and then lock, lock the power limit at like 65 to 70. Okay, this is what everybody does on every RTX 3070 Ti, okay? Now mine is a PNY accelerate. I will show you the card later. But basically what I've done it, um, you basically hit Ctrl plus F on MSI Afterburner and this guy pops up. What you do is quite simply, you go on the core clock, you lower it by, by 500, just to hit minus 500, hit apply, okay? And then this curve will drop. I have a video about undervolting, look at it if you don't know how to do it, but I will, uh, like I'm telling you how to do it drop it then you go to the 825 spot you grab one of those squares you grab it with your left um, click of the mouse and you pull it up until you hit 1750 okay at this point you click on it you hit the L on the keyboard to lock it it will show you this yellow curve and then you hit apply and this way it will be locked in the lowest possible voltage point right after um, the high performance memory mode because those cards have a high performance memory mode you want to be in high performance unless you want your mega hashes to drop to like 10 okay so you just do that hit apply and it will be in high performance memory mode with the full clock this will allow you to get a bit higher with your power limit you can get it to 70 because the undervolt is removing the power limit from the card now this could be a bit of a difficult concept but basically um the power draw depends on the amperage and on the volts so if you lower the volts you lower the power draw even though you don't limit it now this will allow you to have 100 percent of the card power at all times so you can do it to game too so you know this is way better for ease of use you can just leave this guy and use your pc so it's perfect if you're using your pc and mining but even if you are just mining it's like the best possible settings because you have the core clock locked so if you actually need a little bit more on the core clock it will just bump up and it's gonna be perfectly fine so do it copy my settings and then i recommend you set like depending on your model the fan speed and now here i have 50 and as the memory overclock go with 1300, works every time. Um, now maybe I can show you the build, which is a gaming rig, so nothing fancy. And this is the build. Uh, it's a PNY accelerate card, as you can see, it's the worst possible place for thermal, uh, because it's a closed case uh, with the fans running very low. So if you have like a mining rig, it's gonna be much better. Now I can show you how to um, apply the settings if you want to. I will do it. Um, I mean, again, if, if you don't need it, the video is over and I hope you enjoy it. But here is how you actually do it, okay? Now, you start like this, okay? You go here, you hit minus 500, okay? The curve will lower. Now you grab the 825, you bring it up. To 1750 now you hit here sorry 1750 now you hit apply now you click on it you hit L on your keyboard you get the red the yellow line you hit apply and it's done now you go here you set your 1300 you set your power limit to 70. Of course, you unlock the temp limit. And then you set your fan speed 
250 or to whatever you want so you know i recommend 70 but i need a quiet build so this is it guys the absolute best settings to mine ethereum and to you know it, it's also very good to game it's a very good undervolt but i uh, will publish a whole undervolting guide for gaming uh, like you can use this one but i will give you presets with a bit more performance but this one to save power is the best like even if you're just gaming or using your pc this will save you about 120 watts which is quite a bit you know if you game a lot so anyway let me know if it was useful see you in the next one guys bye